Yabba Dabba YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar, coming at you with another vlog. Uh, we are in, we are still here in El Nido, this is our last full day, so we've organised a private speedboat tour. I've called my friend Omar, and he's organised us this speedboat, the same one we took last time, but on this, but on this occasion we're going to go where we want to go. Um, if you're wondering how much these speedboat tours cost, the first one we paid, it was a... It was an organised tour, it cost us 4,000 pesos each, but in the last, uh, or the night before, the other guests cancelled, so it left us pretty much alone, and that worked out pretty cheap, 4,000 pesos each. But on this occasion, if you want to book the boat by yourself, private tour, and go where you want to go, it costs a little bit more. How much more? Well, 25,000 pesos. That's right, you heard it. 25,000 peso. That includes lunch, the tour guide, and everything else. So, we're waiting for the uh, tour guide, Omar, to come and pick us up. The weather's not looking flash. We're hoping that we get a good day. There's a bit of blue sky over there. The sun's just coming up behind the hotel there. And we're hoping that most of this clears up and we get a nice day. I'm taking the drone with us. Hopefully, I can get some good footage and share that with you so uh, without any further ado let's scooby do okay so i'm just looking out over the uh, ocean here it's looking reasonably better than the other four or five days we've had from this at, uh, from this point of view, I can't see much um, white caps. So hopefully the the seas, the ocean will be a little bit calmer. But we are in a speedboat, so this could be a bit of a, a bit of a bumpy ride. Not as windy as the other day, so hopefully we could be in for a good day. We've picked a few places we want to we want to visit, and we're going to discuss that with the boat captain when we get there this morning. These tours that they have A, B, C, and D. Most of them have like two, two maybe three good destinations, and the others are just sort of like a filler. Um, you can do combination tours, but again. You're not going to get like five of the top destinations in one tour. That's why people tend to do a private tour, but that costs uh, that costs more. Um, so we'll see how today's tour goes. We've picked a couple of nice destinations. Hopefully, we can get there. We tried to get into the big lagoon, but the big lagoon has limitations, and apparently you need you need time to book that one to get a slot. Um, it's hard just to book it the day before. I think you need to book that three or four days prior to going. That way you're guaranteed a, uh, a seat or a slot to get into there. That seems to be the most popular destination here in El Nido. And one that most people travel here for. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to get a slot due to the... Uh, amount of tourists here everyone wants to go to big lagoon and we've just been unlucky to get our slot so it doesn't matter we've been there before we've seen it i just wanted to go there again just to get some drone footage flying through the actual lagoon but if you want to see that i'm sure there's other videos on youtube where you can see that so let's wait for our tour guide and get this tour on the way Okay, so we've just been picked up on this little dinghy, it's taking us out to the speedboat. The weather clears up for us. There's a couple of blue, blue areas up there. Hopefully it clears up, so fingers crossed guys. It's nice and calm here, but I'm not sure what it's like out in the ocean. Time to 
put this camera away. I don't want to lose another camera. If we're really lucky, we might find it. So let's see how we go. Okay, so this is search. 30 minutes, same spot where we beached the other, uh, where we bought the boat the other day. And no success. So that's one camera gone forever. Never to be seen again. So we're getting ready. means the lover's island but with this wind I don't know about that today sun's as you can see sun's trying to come out but we've got these big clouds behind us they keep coming they keep coming over they're blocking that sun out so it looks like there's a few people over here in the water this is where we saw quite a few people snorkeling the other day but we just stopped off and had a bit of a look and the, the guide said yeah, the water's not really that clear today because of the waves, the high wind but we're going to go there anyway, have a bit of a look we're here, we might as well It's blowing a gale here. I'm surprised this isn't a uh, signal one. A lot of wind here. All right, so we've come back to Snake Island. Uh, trying to come up. Got some sunny uh, patches. Yeah, let's try and get the drone up and see what we can do.
yesterday, so that was Snake Island. Um, the sun showed its uh, head every now and then, but still overcast today. So we're going to move on to our next destination. Uh, we'll see you there. All right, guys. So we've uh, we've come to the next destination, which is this big boat, like a floating restaurant. This is where we're going to have our lunch. No. Oh. Oh, crispy pork. Mm. <laughs> so, just in the bay here. Nice. This boat's a decent sized boat. It can obviously hold like about 30 or 40 people. Got drivers. Quarters. Got all the gear here, the radar. Got a sink here, obviously. Downstairs there's a big galley. Got a kitchen, probably some room, a couple of bedrooms maybe. So it's really nice boat. And there's the food that they got going for us. Nice. Got some fish, some squid, some vegetables, some rice, some pork. Crabs, whole chicken, some uh, uh, it, some vegetables there, some sa like a salad, and a, um, uh, these little yellow watermelons <laughs> with our nido carved in it. Awesome. Some bananas, some pineapple. See, you didn't go up here. Sinon. Si kuya, kain tayo. Sige po, tapos sa po kanya. Sure. Hindi ba kung makain yung kape na kung makain sa Okay guys, we finished our lunch on this beautiful boat. Now yeah, we're off to our next destination. So let's go and check that out. Wish to rent that, that can handle 20 to 30 people. It's got a floating restaurant in the back, roof deck. I'll leave the description of that down below if you want to rent it here in El Nido. So let's move on to our next destination, Sumitsu Island. Okay, so on our way to Shimizu Island, we're just going to stop off here for a while at Seven Commando Beach. We missed out on this place last time we were here, so we thought we'd drop by and check it out. The waters are just beautiful here. Look at that. How deep is here? How deep is it? About two metres? One and a half? <laughs> Thought it'd be warm, <laughs> but I'm sitting there in the sun, so I'm sitting there in the sun, so I heat it up. Sorry, yeah, if you want to hire this boat, uh, it's going to cost you twenty-five thousand peso for the full day. That's if you want a private tour, and you can go wherever you want. Or option B is you can pay three thousand nine hundred. 99 I believe just on 4,000 and you can have a seat in one of these boats um, And they'll take you to quite a few destinations. I think it's a six destination package And they provide you a magnificent lunch at Star Beach You can do the catamaran tour the same company has the catamaran tour as well as that big uh, sea frontier um, Yacht that we showed that we had lunch on um, that's 50k if you want to rent that for the full day or 3,990 for a seat on it when available with other passengers and believe you me when I say they give you a good lunch 
they give you a good lunch. Um, if you love seafood, then you're going to love the food here. If you don't love seafood, just mention it to the uh, to the guide um, that you, you're not a big seafood fan, and he'll provide you with enough uh, vegetables, pork, fried pork or grilled pork, chicken, fried chicken, um, grilled chicken, or like a like a chicken adobo. So they got variety. You can pre-order whatever you want, really, or you can just take your own food and get them to cook it up for you. Um, so yeah, Northern Commando Beach. We've gone um, the opposite route of what everyone else is doing. So um, most of the times, all the boats when they take off, they'll all rush to one area, and then you end up with about 30 or 40 boats trying to jam into one island. And we're not a big fan of that. We like to do our own little thing and. Most of the times, when it's two or three boats on an island, it's comfortable. It's not overcrowded, and it just gives you a better, better experience. These islands are just like they're like Virgin Islands. I don't think they were designed, or well not designed. I don't think they were um, made to have like a thousand people standing on the beach at the same time. It's good when you got maybe you know two or three boats on the beach. It just, it just feels more romantic more laid back the vibes you can't get any better vibes than this you're in the philippines you're in el nido this place is magic seven commando beach along with all the other lagoons and beaches are just magnificent do yourself a favor get yourself to el nido all right let's go for a swim
I'll get a boat and you come work for me. <laughs> Alright guys, signing off. We'll see you back in town. Alright guys, so the tour has ended. We're dropping us back on the main beach here, which is closer than where we were before. The wind's coming from the other side, which means there's waves on that side, but it's calm on this side. So, another awesome day in El Nido. I do recommend taking the speedboat. You get to the destinations much quicker, and it's and it's an enjoyable ride. And the tour guide, Omar, I'll leave his uh, details down below. And if you mention my name, Zockstar, he'll look after you. So, let's get on. <laughs> let's get on the mainland. Let's go home get showered, have something to eat, pack our stuff and get ready for our departure tomorrow. So I'll see you back at the hotel. Alright guys, we're back at the hotel. We just got dropped off. We said our goodbyes to Omar. Very nice guy. Trust me, you won't be disappointed if you book through him. Even if he can't do it, he'll find someone who will. So give him a call, tell him Zockstar sent you and he'll look after you. And we are back in our room. So that concludes our day of speedboating. Another awesome tour, awesome trip. Um, Omar, thank you my friend. Uh, we will see you again one day. When, I don't know, but trust me, we will be back. Anyone wishing to book the speedboat tour or a catamaran tour or even that big, big ocean yacht, give Omar a call and he will look after you like i said just mention my name zockstar and he will look after you guaranteed um we're just gonna have a bit of a rest here jump in the shower get ready go out have something to eat and then come back and uh start packing all our stuff so we'll catch you a bit later all right guys we're getting ready to go out and have something to eat uh, i'm starving it's been a big day um we're packing up. This is our last night in El Nido. One bag is packed. Second bag is nearly packed. And the third bag is nearly packed. Still got a couple of loose items. Our flippers and my, um, my diving boots. They're outside still drying. Hopefully that'll be ready by the morning tidy up some battery charges here, the laptop, I'll pack that up tonight when we get back from dinner. Um, and that is about it. This will be our last night in El Nido. They're going to be sad to leave this place. We love El Nido. Uh, we love Coron. We love Cebu. We love the Philippines. Um, we will return one day, hopefully sooner than later. But for now, we're almost done with our packing um, I hope you enjoyed our little travel tour today on the speedboat once again um, like I said if you need a tour call my friend Omar really nice guy um, at the end of the tour he actually rang up his manager and asked for a discount for us because we'd already booked it the first the second day we were here and this was our last day last full day he rang the manager and spoke to him and he actually gave us back two and a half thousand peso from the 25 that we paid for the speedboat so thank you omar um, but thank you no because i gave that 2500 back to omar just as a tip wow. um, so thank you omar for your uh, hospitality your kindness your friendship uh, and your services um, like i said if you need a tour Get, in, get on to Omar, he'll fix you up. Anything you want in El Nido, he'll take care of it. He ran around for us getting flippers for my wife. So the man is a legend. Omar, thanks mate, you're a legend. So yeah, we're just getting ready now. We're gonna go out and get something to eat. We saw a place down the main, just off the main road in town. Um, I feel like a shawarma or a chicken kebab. Haven't had one of those since I left uh, Melbourne, Australia. We're going to go and try and find one of those and see how they stack up to the Australian version of the kebab or the shawarma. So 
we're going to go and get something to eat and of course we're going to bring you along so stay tuned guys alright guys so we've come down here to the um, what's that holy smoke little shake just there next to the D factory the IBR restaurant and the IBR convenience store directly across the road from Hotel Libert Liberty Liberté when we ordered this there's about 20 people standing in front and there's about six or seven Just tamed down a bit but this thing's beautiful I'm gonna go and get another one so if you're after a kebab they've got the falafel kebabs they've got falafel wraps beef kebabs shawarma if you're into the kebabs or the wraps come and check this place out okay you can see there's a bit of a crowd gathered here now um, and they're not looking at the dogs they're waiting for their kebabs but like last night you saw we're in that SOS restaurant we've got three patrons that are on the ground waiting for food passed out probably because they've been fed too much <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait till that crowd dissipates a bit and then I'm going in for another one As fast as the crowd arrives, as fast as the crowd disappears. So <clears throat> they whip up these kebabs pretty quick. Huh? I don't know. Oh, the cans there. I, I didn't see it. Okay, I didn't see that. They got drinks as well. I was standing right in front of it. So it happens with old age. Anyway, no one waiting except me and the wife. We're getting another one each. She's getting a beef kebab. I'm getting a chicken kebab. This time I had a Mediterranean chicken before. Now I'm going to just try the, the just the plain grilled chicken. See how that one goes. So stay tuned for that. As you can see, there's no shortage of tourists along this part of the uh, the road. <coughs> Constant stream coming from the left. Coming from the right, this street seems to be a bit more busier than the other main road. Number two, this chicken one's a little bit pacier, I believe. Yeah, much nicer than the Mediterranean one. I don't know if I can go back for the third. The wife's struggling on her second one. Might have to finish hers. So. If you're looking for a kebab, come down to uh, Holy Smoke here in El Nido. All right, two down, one more to go. The wife had two bites and she's done. So now I've got to finish her one. So that's three kebabs for me. This one's a beef. And this one's just as good as the chicken. So chicken, beef, Mediterranean chicken, and I'm hearing the falafel wraps are just to die for. So, look, back to work. Alright guys, so I'm back and I'm going to explode. I've eaten too much. <laughs> I've had two full kebabs. Wife took two bites, three bites out of her kebab and she couldn't finish it, so I had to do the right thing and finish it. Um, and just when I thought we were about to leave, she comes back with a, what was it, a, um, a Nutella and banana crepe. So, I had to eat that as well. Anyway, we're back now. I'm going to lie down for a few minutes, try and get this food to settle. I feel like I'm going to explode, seriously. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you enjoyed our little private boat tour. Um, Omar... You're a legend, mate. I appreciate everything you've done for us. You're a true friend. Um, I will leave the information down in the description box regarding Omar and his tour company, his tour business, or who he works for. If you need anything in El Nido, give him a call. He'll help you out. Trust me, he's a good man. And if you mention Zockstar and you see him, 
it'll take even extra special care of you. So, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to make a comment, leave that down below. If you want to ask anything, you have anything to say, leave that down there in the comment section. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that button over there. If you are already subscribed but have not clicked that bell button, click the bell button. That way you will be notified each time I upload a new video. So until next time guys, thanks for watching. Peace.